guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Kathleen and today's video is going to be my April wrap-up so during the month of April I actually did not have as great a reading month as I did during the month of March I read three and a half books I completed three books and then I'm still currently trying to finish the fourth book but during the month of April it was just really really busy and then not to mention the fact that it was during the end of the school year so I had a lot of exams a lot of presentations a lot of papers to turn in so I kind of had to focus on my school and take time away from reading but the fact that I still managed to finish three and a half books it's pretty impressive so let's go ahead and get started with the books that I did finish Alright, so the first book that I read during the month of April was City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare. This is book two in the Mortal Instruments series. And let me just say that I am absolutely loving this series. It is such a unique and fascinating world. And I mentioned several times in my social medias that I wasn't sure how I felt about Clary and Jace after reading the first book. In the second book, I definitely have to say that my feelings for them are changing. I'm definitely connecting with Clary more. I understand and her frustrations and her feelings in this book and I'm connecting with her more and Jace as well I'm really starting to connect with him I'm starting to understand how his mind works and why he does some of the things that he does I still can't say that I'm 100% in love with these characters but they're definitely growing on me and Simon is definitely my favorite character I love Simon I love his wittiness I love his dorkiness and his nerdiness I think he's so adorable and I just I really love Simon he's definitely my favorite character in this whole series so I really cannot wait to continue on to City of Glass. And then the next book that I read during the month of April was Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. This is the second book in the Lunar Chronicle series and it is still following Cinder from the first book but we are now introduced to a character named Scarlet who is Marissa's retelling of The Little Red Riding Hood and I loved this book. I enjoyed it. It was just so fun and I absolutely love Scarlet and a lot of people told me that this is actually their least favorite book in the series and that surprises me because I really really love this book and it's actually setting my expectations for the other books way high because as much as I love this book everyone else is telling me that the other books are better but I really enjoyed it we follow Scarlet whose grandmother is missing so she's trying to find her and Cinder who's now a fugitive it's awesome if you have not read the Lunar Chronicle series read it because it is amazing I cannot believe it's taking me this long to read the series and I can finally say I know why people are are in love with this series because it is so 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 good uh, and then the final book that I read during the month of April was Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor this was the Biblia Squads book pick of the month for the month of April and this was my very first Lainey Taylor book and let me just tell you everything that everyone has ever said about Lainey Taylor's writing style is absolutely correct and true she has a beautiful writing style I actually looked this up and it's called purple prose and it's like kind of like flowery however I've read some pretty flowery type of writing style I have to say that the star touched queen is definitely a very flowery type of writing style and I can't say that it's the same as this the writing style in this book it's definitely beautiful making you so immersed in the story through her writing style the story was very very unique I'm gonna try to summarize this book as best I can without spoiling anything because I went into this book completely blind because the synopsis that they give you on the flap is very confusing and I didn't know what I was getting myself into going into this book so basically there's this character named Laszlo and he's this librarian and his entire life all he's ever wanted was to see the city of weep now the city is not actually called weep but no one remembers what the city is actually called its name has been forgotten 200 years prior to the start of this book the, the people of weep the citizens of weep they would venture out into the outside world and they would bring trinkets and they would sell things and they would interact with the outside world but foreigners themselves were not allowed to go into Weep. 200 years before the book starts they suddenly vanish. Nobody from Weep is ever seen or heard from again so a lot of people don't know what happened
happen and assume the city becomes a myth no one actually knows if it still exists because no foreigner has ever seen it so he is fascinated by the city of weep he spends years and years trying to research it because his dream is to one day venture out and find the city of weep but it turns out it actually finds him and we also follow a second perspective of this girl named Sarai and she's stuck in this place and I'm not gonna say where because it's spoilery it just it's just amazing I can't say any more without giving a lot away but it's just such a complex world I'm not gonna lie the beginning was very confusing and it was very hard to get into but keep going because this book gets amazing and then it just blows your mind it's absolutely beautiful I gave this book four and a half stars out of five and the only reason why I docked half a star is because the beginning was slow for me and like I said I was very very confused I was what was going on if you have any doubts about this book read it do not listen to those doubts just read it and decide for yourself because it's so freaking beautiful and after reading this book it's really making me excited to read the daughter of smoke and bones trilogy which I have never read and I heard a lot of great things about and then the other book that I started reading in April but I still haven't finished is called Traitor's Kiss by Aaron Beatty this book is actually not out yet I received an early copy of this book in exchange for an honest review and my review will be going up on May 9th because that is the day that the book is actually published it is released it's basically about this girl who in her world in her society girls are matched to be married and she doesn't want that she wants her freedom and so she kind of fights for that freedom and then there's a war brewing and there's a whole lot of things I actually heard a lot of mixed reviews on this book and this book has that dark skin aggressor trope so while I'm actually kind of enjoying the book I am kind of like this is not a good thing I feel like the author should have gone a different direction overall the story is still interesting and I'm about halfway through the book so I'll give my final thoughts on this book on my review that will be going up on on May 9th. Anyway guys, those are all of the books that I read during the month of April. Let me know down in the comments below how you guys did during the month of April. I know that a lot of people are going through school like I did. Fortunately, I had all of my finals this past week during the last week of April. But I know that a lot of people have their finals during the first week of May. So good luck to you guys who still have finals to do because I'm glad that I am done. Because the month of April was so freaking busy and a lot of studying and my brain just wants a break anyway guys thank you all so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video please give it a like if you did and subscribe to my channel if you're not already all of my social medias are linked down below including twitter instagram and goodreads if you'd like to follow me i hope to see you guys on my next video have a good day and keep reading bye